Good morning, guys. So currently this morning, it's like, well, this morning, it's afternoon. Um, I'm basically trying to quickly send off a work email, but I need to change her and bathe her. But I was meant to send off the email in the morning, but it's now like one o'clock. Um, Cause I didn't sleep last night until like 4 a.m. Then she woke up at 6 a.m. Then I put her back to sleep and I didn't go back to sleep till 8 a.m. So now it's 12 a.m. I'm so tired, but yeah, like, I mean, it's 1 p.m. But I mean, I woke up at 12. You get my drift, guys. Anyways, I need to send off that work email ASAP. Then I need to get her into the bath, fix her up some breakfast, and then I need to sort myself out as well. Um, yeah, let's see how today goes. Um, you know, another day, another dollar. So this is her, she's actually done a number two and my laptop I need to send off a work email like I said. So I'm gonna quickly send off the email, sort her out and yeah, let's just see how it all goes because you know, every day I'm winging it. Yeah, so she had her jab two days ago so I feel like she's still cut under the weather. So I actually need to give her some carb hole, but I hate giving it to her because I'm rubbish at doing it. I prefer waiting for my husband. Yeah, and it turns out that she's literally pooed all over her back, all over her sleep suit. So this this morning slash afternoon is looking much longer than I anticipated. Yeah. I'm coming, princess. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And mum is here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, mama. Okay guys, I have her drinking some milk. Hopefully she can, I can get her to sleep after this. I think she's quite tired as well. Okay guys, she's officially out for the count. Um, I've laid her down. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the house um, and try to get myself something to eat before she wakes up and try to send over some more emails and continue my work day. Um, yeah so it's been quite a rough morning already um I, th I think she's i think she's just under the weather because of the jab but honestly like the cries and the screeching and the screaming is a lot and um i don't know what i'm gonna eat for breakfast i'm not really a breakfast person to be honest it's lunch anyway i might make a vegetable stir fry it depends but i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to get done before she wakes up usually she sleeps for about on a good day two hours on a normal day 15 minutes um i'm hoping today will be a good day which is two hours um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and sort myself out sort the house out and i'll check in with you guys a bit later guys oh my gosh oh my gosh so basically yeah i'm just here you know minding my business doing my work as you do and then my husband sent me a screenshot of us seven years ago in 2013 sending each other like uh, messages on hangouts google hangouts and in one of the messages he was like ah oh, um you're gonna have my baby by 25 and then like he sent it to me now and it's so funny because i literally had his baby by 25 well 10 days before i turned 25 um and i just find that so funny i just find it how fu funny how like it's all god's playing man it's all god's playing but no like it's so funny because like when I think about me and his um me and his journey, oh my gosh, it was it was interesting because obviously we had been together since since he was seventeen, since college. But where we both got saved and we took like um our Christianity seriously and stuff like that, like we separated for a bit, but I was like so anxious that oh my gosh, we won't get married, oh blah blah blah. And it's funny how seven years later it's like we're married we've got a child it's just it's just interesting i mean the journey really hasn't has not been easy like we were engaged for two and a half years and obviously because we're um, christians we waited until marriage until we you know done the deed so it was a hard 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 journey that i do not want to go through ever again but now nah, it's just funny when like you like um look over old messages and it's like where you kind of dreamed you'd be you actually are you know so you know sometimes it's just good to like take a step back and just be grateful for where you are even if it's like not as great as you thought it would be or as you expected it to be because thankfully you know you are where you are um on that note my husband has messaged me and told me to take a break and that i should eat so i'm gonna listen um i'm gonna take a break from working and then i'm gonna try 
muster up but the thing is if i go eat i'm just gonna start cleaning and i haven't started cleaning yet this is the thing because it's just like if i'm gonna get up and go to the kitchen i might as well get up clean here clean the corridor clean the breakfast area and then clean the kitchen before you know it it's three hours later yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh, anyways guys, um, yeah man, that's the story of Melamori. Be thankful for where you are, even if it's not how you seemed, still be thankful because the younger you was praying to be where you are now, but yeah. Hey guys, sorry I haven't checked in, um, it's been a long day and my sisters came over to the house, so I think I'm going to turn this into like a daily vlog kind of thing, but I'm going to put two days into one vlog because um yeah i'm about to go to bed i'm about to edit another vlog and go to bed mm -hmm.